Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. My wife and I own Learbird. I've got a really good question today. All these questions come from our website and the Ask Cindy portal on the front page of the website. People send in questions and Cindy answers them every day, usually at 5 a.m., right after she goes out and takes care of our horses while I'm still sleeping. Here's what this is. This is a good one because these people live on a farm and they have beagles and they have red healers. And one of their female red healers is trying to kill their beagles when it has a chance. First, I'll read what the customer writes. I have several beagles and I hunt with and two red healers for working with our cows. One of the red healers, a female, cannot be around the beagles without trying to kill them. Not that uncommon, really. We have to keep them separated all the time. The dog is very loving and usually obeys, but not when it comes to beagles. She hates them. Do you have any articles or books to suggest on reading for possible solutions? If not, then I will have to rehome her. And she's good working with the cattle. We have one old beagle in the house, very old. The healer leaves her alone and never tries to kill that beagle. It's the pack that she does not like. I don't know if I could get her to be friends with one beagle at a time. I've not tried that mainly because just to try it could be dangerous. The beagles are noisy and they bark and she reacts. She's about four years old and it's been going on since she became an adult dog. The beagles are a pack and we take them hunting rabbits. I have often wondered if she's jealous because I do spend quite a bit of time with the pack. We go in the field trials with them and sometimes they do very well. Thank you for your advice, Cindy. A common question or situation for people that have multiple dogs, especially females. In my experience, having bred German Shepherds for 35 years, the worst dog fights I had were between females and not between males. And they can be, like he said, the risk there is that that dog can kill one of those beagles. And anybody that thinks that a dog can't kill another dog doesn't have very much experience because it can happen in a heartbeat. I have a whole file in my office of people who came home and found one of their dogs dead that was killed by other dog or dogs in the household. Cindy says, the dynamics of a pack of dogs that has a history of eliciting an aggressive response is not something I would try and work through. In other words, he's not gonna be able to fix this. You cannot fix a problem like this. This dog has practiced that behavior for too long. It's ingrained in the dog and you may be able to control it with a long line, possibly with remote collars, but it's never gonna go away it's always the dark cloud hanging over the back of your shoulder. And if you turn your back at the wrong time, one of your beagles could be dead. Because if this dog gets into a beagle badly and you are not there right now and you don't know how to break up a dog fight without getting hurt, dog fights are dangerous, dangerous situations. I've done an article on how to break a dog fight up without getting hurt and I've done a video, a streaming video that's on our website. Go to Learberg.com and look at it. It doesn't cost anything. Like you said, trying to incorporate the healer, even one at a time with the beagle, is too dangerous. My guess is it's going to be a huge task and one that will require that you keep them separated and you, and you can't change your focus for one second when you have this healer out and the beagles are out. So in closing, the best advice that we would give would be to rehome this dog to another farm that you feel comfortable will give the dog a good life. 